Okay, so this is a story Fox 5 has stayed on top of for days. Tractor trailers backing up in Prince George's County in a neighborhood there waiting to get into a postal service facility. And there are now new developments making neighbors really happy. Prince George's County officials, not so much. Fox 5's David Kaplan is staying on top of this story for us tonight. He joins us now live from Brandywine, Maryland. David? Rob, you mentioned happy neighbors. I can confirm. Look, they live right here. These tractor trailers were lined up right over here going about a mile back at all hours of the night. Now, take a look. Things are relatively calm. So while the neighbors are happy, I can tell you Prince George's County, not so much as you just mentioned. They are largely frustrated with the USPS. They believe they're not getting answers about why this is happening. Yes, the trucks aren't here, but they're elsewhere in the county. No, I didn't get the answers I wanted, uh, but we're still working with them from a collaborative effort uh, to try to get more answers and, and more, more reasoning on why this occurred and what is the long-term solution. So that's what we're working with the Postal Service right now on. Okay, so Fox 5 specifically reached out to the Postal Service to find out why this was happening and what's being done to reduce the backlog of trucks in the area. The only response we got, that they're telling drivers where to stage and the new way for them to enter the warehouse in this new system. All that is an issue for county officials because they're dedicating resources to try and keep the roads safe, largely police. Trucks are also literally staged for over a mile long stretch of 301. They're in the emergency lane. That's something that Barry Stanton with Prince George's County says cannot happen for weeks on end. I'm looking at uh, anything from a week on. I mean, th I, I, we just need to come up with a plan that I don't have officers out here on a regular basis to deal with this particular issue when we weren't prepared for it. I can also tell you at this point, Prince George's County has indicated they may ask the Postal Service to recoup some money based on these details that they're providing to try and keep the roads safe. Certainly, if we get any answers from the postal system about why this is happening and what they are doing to reduce the backlog of trucks, we'll be sure to pass that information along to you as we get it. Back to you. Meantime, uh, David, what's the county say they're doing to help with traffic, ease traffic elsewhere in the county now that the trucks have been moved out of that neighborhood. Well, there are signs in the area, digital signs to let people know. Certainly, they want drivers to be as aware as possible, given the fact that there are dozens of trucks that are literally in an emergency lane on the road. So if you're in this area, just be mindful of that as they try to work through this.